Muhammad Scoby has hit out at Piers Morgan with a savage reply after the TV host called the royal author an outright liar over his latest bombshell claims in his new royal book and game. Scoby appeared on This Morning Today to discuss the apparent translation mistake in the Dutch copies of the biography which revealed the names of the two alleged royals who raised concerns about the skin color of Harry and Meghan's son, Prince Archie, before he was born. The 42-year-old journalist has insisted that he is not responsible for the huge error and told hosts Alison Hammond and Craig Doyle that he had no idea what Piers has to say on the matter as he only saw his comments via reports. On Wednesday, the talk TV host took aim at Scobie over his new book as he addressed the ongoing racist royal row as the two senior members of the firm in question were revealed. However, Scobie has hit back at the outspoken presenter, saying he was incredible, the Mirror reports. When asked about the matter on this morning, Omad told Craig and Allison, I don't know what he says, I only go by the reporting that I have. He has spoken a lot about his friendship with Camilla, the Queen. So listen I don't know what to make of that. I only go by the information I have. He says a lot of things about me that's not true, I don't find that particularly credible. Piers also reacted to this latest interview, once again branding Scobie a liar. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. This week. The Dutch version of Scobie's Endgame was pulled from shelves after early reviewers spotted that it named an individual who was said to have expressed concern about Prince Archie's skin tone before he was born. On Thursday, the name of the second royal family member, who is alleged to have made the same remark, was found in the pages of the Dutch edition, titled Final Battle. The racism allegations date back to Prince Harry and Meghan's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey in which they claimed that an unidentified member of the monarchy had made worrying comments over how dark their son's skin would be when he was born. The Sussexes only referred to one person in the interview but Mr. Scobie claims there were actually two royals who made the derogatory remark in Endgame. The former royal couple shocked the world with their explosive claims during their interview with the U.S. chat show host which streamed across the world and they sparked a public debate about which royal family member may harbor such racially charged views. In a multicultural modern Britain such allegations against the monarchy generated debate on a matter of such public importance with Scobie's new book claiming to add to that public debate. This week, Scobie claimed to know the names of the royals in question but explained that UK laws prevented him from revealing their identities. However, a review copy of the book sent to Dutch journalists appears to plainly state the identity of the royals who allegedly made the remarks. Referring to letters exchanged between Meghan and the King to discuss the matter, the Dutch version of the book reads, but in those private letters, identity was revealed and confirmed. It's not yet known how the names ended up appearing in the copy, where it was a publication error or translation mistake but Scobie has denied naming the royals involved in any version of his book. The Daily Record has chosen not to publish the names with Piers Morgan having already announced the two members of firm in question live on his talk TV show last night. Speaking to Dutch chat show RTL Boulevard earlier this week, Scobie said, The book is in several languages, and unfortunately I do not speak Dutch. But if there are translation errors, I'm sure the publishers will have it under control. I wrote and edited the English version. There's never been no version that I've produced that has names in it. Buckingham Palace did not respond to a request for comment. Xander, the publishers of the Dutch translation of Mr. Scobie's Endgame, 
have put sales of the book on hold temporarily over what it calls an error. They said in a statement, we are temporarily withdrawing the book by Omid Scobie from sale. An error occurred in the Dutch translation and is currently being rectified, 